So I get a pretty hilarious reaction from a lot of my friends who know that I love running when I tell them, yeah, I'll probably never run a marathon. Because I get asked that all the time. Jack, if you love running, isn't that kind of like a rite of passage as a runner to eventually run that 26.2 and prove yourself to the running world and put that sticker on the back of your car and whatever. And honestly, there was a time in my life when I thought that'd be a really cool idea to train and run a marathon. And I just have decided recently that I probably won't train for and do an endurance event like that. And there's nothing against running and my opinion of running hasn't changed. Most of you know me, I used to be uh, almost 50 pounds overweight when I was younger and I was miserable and I still remember the <laughs> worst and one of the most traumatizing times in my life. I was in a health assessment, and this was my freshman year of high school, in gym class, and I was terrified. And it was the state or nationally mandated health examination, and we had to do pull-ups, and those were like max. We had to do like a sit and reach for flexibility, which was still really poor on my part, because I could like hardly get my arms over my stomach. And then we had to do a mile run for time, and I was just having a panic attack over the whole thing, and I remember... I, my first mile time, or the mile time that I ran for that class my freshman year of high school was just, I think it was between 11 and 12 minutes, which isn't awful, but knowing what my running capacity had become as I became a runner. So needless to say, I was really excited once I could run and I could play sports and I wasn't dragging behind and getting winded walking up a flight of stairs. I was one of those crazy people who just fell in love with running as soon as I could. And I did that consistently for probably just over a decade. And uh, it's actually like looking back on all the running I've done, it's been, you know, really great for me. And you, you got to take care of your heart. It's a muscle too, just like any other muscle in your body. And it's the thing that's pumping to keep you alive. So I'm, I just hope you know before I get into this of why I'm not going to train for a marathon. Know that I'm a huge proponent of running and cardiovascular exercise. I think it's awesome. I think the runner's high is fantastic. It helps me focus more. Um, it elevates my level of concentration so I can do more work and better work than I would normally do. So huge proponent of running straight off. I actually ran a half marathon a few years ago, and this is kind of where I had the revelation that maybe running a full marathon isn't for me. And I was doing really well. I was way ahead of my training program because I was just running recreationally probably anywhere between 15 and 25 miles a week. And the most I had ever run at one time, the most I've still ever run at one time was about 14 and a half or 15 miles. And that was before I had my half marathon. I actually started out training for a marathon program first. And then I ended up getting injured while I was training. I uh, got a really bad like inflammation in my gastrocnemius muscle, in my calf. And I could run for, oh geez, for like a few months, probably just over two or three minutes without getting an extreme amount of pain in my leg. And it eventually took me nine months to completely rehab uh, that injury, which was great. I had a great doctor for it. So I mean, it was still painful having to do that after, you know, I had a mileage threshold of like 14 and a half or 15 miles. And I had been running seven, seven and a half minute miles for those distance runs. So what I realized after I ran that half marathon, which isn't a good idea, by the way, I don't want to endorse this. I ran that half marathon after running a total of about 10 miles over the period of 12 weeks because I couldn't train for running. But I just decided, hey, you know what? I didn't have pain the day before. I jogged a little bit and I was like, okay, well, if I don't have pain the day before, I'm just going to go ahead and run this race. I already paid for it. So I did. And needless to say, the next uh, seven to 10 days, were not pleasant. I had some serious lactic acid buildup. It was really hard to sit down or get up out of any chair. It was really hard to get out of bed in the morning for that time period. But I think I realized in this whole process of training for a marathon, which became training for a half marathon, which became getting injured and then running a half marathon injured, was that I want to keep my loving relationship uh, with this exercise that pretty much freed me from uh, my overweight past, like I remember when I started falling in love with running, I was playing a ton of basketball with my friends. I always loved playing full court the most just because I was, I had good endurance and I could beat people up and down the court really fast. Um, and from that hustle, I could score points. So that was awesome. But uh, I want I want to keep my love with running and I don't necessarily need to be competitive about it. So now I just keep my running to 
two to three times a week, I'll run like high intensity interval sprints or just sprints after my workout. And I usually run for, you know, 20 or 30 seconds, like really hard, put the treadmill on an incline or like go to a hill around my neighborhood sprint up the hill, walk back down, and uh, do that like eight to 12 times. Sometimes I'll just make that my workout for the day. So just clarify everything. There's nothing that I could say terrible about running. I absolutely love it. Uh, cardiovascular exercise I think is really relaxing. I know it helps me sleep better, de-stress, helps me focus on work. Uh, but at this point in my life, uh, running takes a lot of hours and I feel like I spend a lot less time on strength training and my results are a lot better. I've gained roughly 26 pounds in the last year of muscle and I feel really good. I still have a 32 waist. I just like having the size and definition and functional strength on me. So for all my runner buddies out there, don't think that I'm hating on running or hating on marathons or Ironman or triathlons or anything like that. I love endurance. I think that's a super valuable thing to have. I love cardiovascular exercise. I just uh, think at this point in my life, um, I want to keep a loving relationship with running. There's no reason that I need to make it competitive or get to the point where I can run 26.2 miles. I've already run 15 for myself, and I feel really great about that. So here's the runners out there. Here's the lifters. We're all in this together because we're trying to get our country and the other countries out there to lose some weight because obesity is a huge global issue now that we're trying to fix. And I just want to put the good word out there about health and fitness make it enjoyable any way possible. Stick to running, stick to lifting, stick to whatever you like. Make sure you be safe and uh, do it consistently.